I was making over $75,000 a year teaching and I still quit. So many times you hear people say, if only I made this amount of money, I'll finally be happy. Or if I make this amount, then I'll be able to do blank, blank, and blank. However, these beliefs are actually causing us more harm than good. When I made $75,000 a year and I still wasn't happy in my teaching career, I knew something was misaligned. I knew something had to change. And I quickly learned that the whole, we just need to be paid more and then all of our problems will go away. That's not actually true in my experience. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bree and I'm a former elementary school teacher gone full time entrepreneur. I run my own financial literacy company. I'm here to educate you about money and financial literacy so you can exit out of the rat race. You can teach your children and students all about financial literacy because it's not taught in school. In this episode, you are going to learn why I still decided to leave teaching even though I was making bank in the classroom and how you too can exit out of the rat race and become free from sacrificing your happiness and sacrificing your wellness and health in exchange for the dollar, even if it's in a service based work environment, even if you're a teacher. Now, yes, as I said in the beginning, I was making $75,000 a year as an elementary school teacher in my first five years of teaching. And it still didn't make me stay in the profession. Now, if you are someone who is interested in transitioning out of teaching, maybe now or maybe down the line, it's an idea that you have. I have a teacher transition game plan down below for you. It's free. It is a space for you to download, read through, and start to explore the different options that are available for you outside of the classroom. Because if you do not know my story, I taught for the past five years and it came very apparent for me that I need to leave because my health and my wellness and my marriage and myself and all these things were just not aligning with teaching anymore and I did a lot of self deep healing I did a lot of transformational work around these this whole idea of what, what it means to be a teacher the whole idea of money in exchange for happiness did a lot of deep work on myself. And in that teacher transition guide, you are able to explore for yourself and come up with your own answers and your own explanations to these deep questions. So you will be able to make your pivot in or out of the classroom. Now listen, you could totally absolutely love teaching and that's great. I do want to remind you that you don't have to work a job that you freaking hate. Like you don't have to do it. Just because you went to college for a set amount of time doesn't mean that you need to sacrifice your happiness for a job. I don't believe that to be true, especially in the day and age we live in where we have the internet and it is so extremely easy to create additional streams of income that one, you can create a plethora to fill in that teaching income if you want to leave, or you can start an additional stream of income that will then allow you to build and grow and create that to be your full-time income. Just because you are a teacher doesn't mean you have to settle for a mediocre life for an exchange of what? An idea of what teachers do or the paycheck that comes in exchange or the summers off. For me, it just wasn't worth it. If you wanna learn exactly how I made $75,000 a year teaching in my first five years, hit the subscribe button because that is going to be the next video that comes out. And also I do invite you to follow me on Instagram so we can stay connected. This video is to show you that yes, it is 1000% possible if you play the game right, that you can make a pretty good living off of teaching. Now, keep in mind, I had to move to a new state I had to get a master's degree in order to earn $75,000, but I believe the way I played the game was pretty freaking good. And again, in my next video, I'm going to do a breakdown on how I did that. But this video is really to explain to you and have you really start to question how much are you allowing money to control your life? Because what I have found even growing up, my mom, 
completely disliked her job and it affected the household. So my question for you is, how much are you sacrificing for the dollar? How much of your happiness are you sacrificing for the dollar dollar bill? Because I don't believe we need to sacrifice our happiness to earn a great income. I don't believe that to be true. Even if we believe that we are in the job of serving others, that does not mean we have to make a low income or we have to sacrifice our happiness for a high income. Those do not have to correlate at all. Money does not equal happiness even if you are in a job of service, like teaching, nursing, policing, whatever it is, whatever job you're doing in service. Technically, a lot of jobs are in service, you know, even if you're doing customer service, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Money is not going to fix your problems. So what I was experiencing when I was making $75,000 and why I still decided to quit teaching because of this, I was still repeating the same money habits no matter the dollar amount I had, okay? What was happening was in my second year of teaching, I was making pretty good money. I had my master's degree. I was making, I think $68,000 a year, my second year teaching and I was living very low cost. So I was living in our first investment property with like four of the roommates, three of the roommates, and my cost of living was very, very low. But what was happening was I was extremely unhappy with my job and my life, to be honest. I wasn't in love with my job that I went to school for for seven years, and I was completely burnt out. I had like no pleasure in life, like I had no libido, I was not eating healthy, I was not working out, I was just numbing myself. I was overspending the excess money I did have, I was overspending it to fill a void, to fill a void that I had because I wasn't feeling fulfilled in my teaching job, because my teaching job just wasn't in alignment for me. I have bigger plans and bigger dreams to fulfill on, And that was just my soul, higher self, intuition speaking to me of, okay, something's off, something's out of alignment. But what happens is we get stuck in this repeated pattern and then we blame money for our problems. If I just had, if I just made X amount, then I'll finally like my job. If I just had X amount, then we can go on vacation and then my marriage won't be in shambles. If I just had this amount of money, then I would work out. If I had this amount of money, then I would start eating healthier. I can't eat healthy because I have this X amount of money. Do you see like how we blame money or lack thereof for our problems? Okay? (laughs) No, no, don't need to be doing that. It's actually a huge energy leak. Like that is why you are broke and that is why you stay broke. It's because you keep this habitual pattern of blaming and not taking responsibility for how you view money, treat money, spend money, save money, create money. So I had to clean up my act. (laughs) I can't just be sitting here today teaching you all of this if I didn't do it myself. What really hit home with me on this whole topic was in my last year of teaching, I had a couple coworkers who were debating leaving the county that we were working in to make more money elsewhere as a teacher. Now the difference was $1,000 a year. So they were desiring to make $1,000 a year more. They were going to move everything. They were going to leave the district to make $1,000 more. To me, I'm like, okay, you wanna make $1,000 more a year? You know how much that is a month? You just need to create $83 a month additional to hit that 1,000. And it's so simple to make 83 extra dollars a month. This is just the perfect example of staying in the rat race. How many of you that are teachers see these little emails that percolate around your districts or even in your job? Let's pretend you're not even a teacher, but you probably see this in your job. You probably see incentives to stay in the profession, yes? They hang this little carrot over you and say, oh, You work another year, you'll make $1,000 more a year. Mm. Oh, stay in, stay in. Oh, you're miserable, you're overworked. There's no time for prep. You have like 40 kids in your class. Um, You have all this paperwork to do. Oh, you're working on your weekends? It's fine. Here's the carrot. Here's the $1,000 more. Take it, take it. 
And so many people take the carrot. So many people go against their happiness, against their wellness, against what is best for them and their families. Because I don't know about you, if I am not fully in alignment of my happiness, of be taking care of myself, my whole family suffers. So is the extra money really worth it? It wasn't worth it to me, which is why I left anyways. And that's the thing. I am not controlled by money. I create my money. I create it. I put myself out there. I create my own carrots. I make it myself. It's just really sad to me when I see so many people just like working their lives away. And even though you're a teacher and you have summers off, something else I heard that keeps you in the rat race of here's the carrot, stay in for the security, stay in for the safety of it, stay in even though you're miserable and even though your life is not where you want it to go, stay in because you get summers off and you get winters off and stay in because you get all of these like perks. But at what cost though? What cost? Now, if you are interested in exiting out of the rat race, which means what the rat race is, is you just constantly going after the money. The money, the money, the money. You put your wellness aside. You like sacrifice everything for the dollar bill. I've been there, I did it. Doesn't work. It's not going to work. No amount of money is going to make you happy because what will happen is you will just fill a void. You will overspend, overindulge. Something is going to snap and collapse. And you have the power to leave any situation that is not serving you. I don't care how much money you make, okay? It doesn't matter. And this is the great thing. Like you can create little seeds. You can plant little seeds of, I'm gonna do a little investing here. I'm gonna put some money here. I'm gonna do this play, this play. You can create little seeds to help you alleviate the stress of your job and you can finally leave the, the rat race. The thing is, we are not properly educated on money. It's not taught in school. Money, financial literacy is not a main priority in the schooling system as of current, okay? That's an issue. And the question arises of why not? Why isn't it? Why aren't we teaching kids on how to budget the tax system, investing, creating wealth, compounding interest, the different types of vehicles that are available to build wealth? Why isn't this a priority in the school system? If you are interested in increasing your money IQ and creating an additional stream of income to potentially leave the job that is not serving you, or maybe even you wanna go part-time, or you wanna create your own business, Financial Freedom Academy is going to get you there on a fast track. In 12 weeks, you are going to learn exactly how to manage your money and how not to let money in, be in control of you. Because when you are in the rat race, you are allowing money to control you. That's ridiculous. It doesn't need to happen. You are more powerful than money. You can actually create your own money. Okay, money is all around us and to think that the only way we can create money is through our one job that we went to school for for seven years that is causing us so much unhappiness, stress, dysregulated nervous systems, marriage in shambles, really crappy relationships, we're eating terribly because we don't have time to have lunch. I can go on and on. Join the Financial Freedom Academy waitlist. You do not have to live this way anymore. I open Financial Freedom Academy two times a year. So if you wanna do a group program, it is soon going to be opening. So be sure to get into the Financial Freedom Academy waitlist because where else are you going to, going to learn the information? It's not taught in school. And for you to learn this information, you would have to do what I did but instead I made it into a course. I read a lot of books, took a lot of classes, invested a lot, a lot, a lot of money and time into all of this. As an energetic exchange, I created Financial Freedom Academy. It's a 12 week interactive transformational course that is going to take you from being in the rat race to entering into the world of creating your own money, creating your own life 
creating additional streams of income, or even just tightening your energy money leak with overspending and filling voids. And listen, I put my money where my mouth is. I refuse to work a job that is not lighting me the hell up, okay? You don't have to work that job either. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in next week's episode. Bye.